In this video, we are going to look at three different ways to install software on an Ubuntu 10.04 Linux computer. Now, the first way and the second way are a graphical way. Um, they're both fairly easy. So, the first way is in the Applications menu. And if you're using an older version of Ubuntu, you may have an option that says Add Remove, or there may be no option in this in this menu. Um, 10.04 and likely subsequent versions, later versions 10.10, will likely continue to have this Ubuntu Software Center. So let's just launch the Ubuntu Software Center. <coughs> and of course, installing any of the software depends on having a internet connection and as you can see up here I've got a bit of a weak wireless internet connection and we're going to so this is the Ubuntu Software Center and you can see if you can scroll down a little bit there's actually more software available um, these are general categories so let's pick a category say sound and video and then from here we have a list of a bunch of the software that we can install. Now <coughs> in the video that I did before this I explained how to add some additional software resources so if you haven't checked out the Ubuntu Basics video um, that I did before check it out and it will just give you a little bit more software available. So let's pick a uh, a program camera monitor that looks good we'll click install and it asks for a password whenever you're installing um, software in Ubuntu uh, you will likely get this this prompt to authenticate to put in your password and so you'll type in your password click authenticate and then if you typed in the right thing you should see right over here it's in progress and it's starting to download the software. Uh, you may have to make sure that your system is up to date for the software to install and you can see over on the right hand side here it's also uh, got a little bit of a progress progress bar showing the progress of the installation. <coughs> and we'll let it do its thing. Now sometimes programs, um, though it looks like we're installing one program, programs actually consist of multiple programs within the program. And now if we look very likely in our graphics software we should have some kind of camera monitor here somewhere. Maybe it's not there. Sound and video. There we go camera monitor is installed. So Ubuntu Software Center is one graphical way to install. Another method, and this method goes back into many versions of Ubuntu and also Debian, GNU Linux, which is a which is kind of the base for Ubuntu. Ubuntu based their Linux distribution off of Debian and they used the same what's called package management system. So the other method uses a program called Synaptic. It's also graphical. It's in System Administration and Synaptic Package Manager. And if you look to up, this is the software sources that I talked about in the last podcast. This is where you can add extra uh, internet sources for software. So we're going to click on Synaptic Package Manager and you'll see it also asks for our password and you'll see it's not quite as friendly as the Ubuntu Software Center but <coughs> um, it is uh, it is a more comprehensive program right off the start so packages software programs are also organized along the side by category but you can see there's a lot more categories along the side here um, and if we go up to the along the side here we can also 
pick a program. Let's just go and we'll say, uh, let's go down to games or something. Uh, games and amusement. Click on that and then let's go up and find a game, Tremulous. And if we click on this, notice we haven't clicked over here. This will allow us to, uh, to mark it to be installed. It doesn't actually install it until we go up and click apply, which is currently grayed out because we haven't added anything. But this tremulous, it says aliens and humans, get a screenshot. We could click here to get a screenshot. Um, <coughs> let's install something a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe I'll go to fonts and pick something from fonts. Uh, those all look fairly big. I don't want uh, font. I'm just going to pick something that I know is going to be small. Okay, this is in graphics. I'm going to check this off and you can see when I left click on it there I have a bunch of options. Mark, unmark, mark for installation, mark for removal, mark for upgrade. Right now we only have mark for installation available because it's not installed. And it's also telling us that it's going to install libexiv2-6. So this is an extra program that gets installed when it installs that. Hasn't installed it yet, we've just marked it for installation. That allows us to select other packages. So if we wanted to install this, we could also mark it for installation. I'm not for the sake of this video to keep it a little bit more brief. I click apply, it says two new packages uh, will be, okay, this is probably some software that I haven't installed on here yet. Two packages will be held back and not upgraded. Just some stuff that I haven't upgraded yet. Two new packages will be installed. So if I click on here, I can see the EXIV2 and lib EXIV2 are going to get installed. Uh, I probably have some updates to a program called GDM. It's a display manager. I won't go into it at this point. We click apply and you can see the download. The download here is actually a little bit bigger, the download uh, window. So I kind of like, I like the way this looks. It's, it's a little bit better. I apologize. My wireless connection is not the best. Uh, otherwise you would see this much faster. Okay, and so the next <coughs> the next method while well, that is going, I should mention at this point too, you cannot have both Synaptic and Ubuntu Software Center open and installing at the same time. You can't use both of them at the same time. You'll find the same thing with the command line that I'm going to uh, show you in a minute. You can't do a command line install if you're already installing from another source like Synaptic or like the Ubuntu Software Center. And it makes sense because you're managing the software. So successfully applied all changes. You can close the window now. The EXIF program, I'm not going to show you in the menu. Um, it's a text-based program. I installed it because it's useful for extracting digital camera information. So the last method I mentioned was we go into accessories, we open a terminal, this is from the command line, and we actually did this in the previous video when we installed the Ubuntu restricted extras. I want to type sudo, and sudo is super user do, sudo uh, apt get install, and the name of the program that we want to install. I'm going to install a program called Midnight Commander. MC for short, Midnight Commander. Again, it asks for the password. So I'm going to type in the password. And it's going to install, gives me some information about some packages that uh, were installed before and are not needed now. It tells me, also tells me some useful information on how to remove them. Now this, they say use app get auto remove to remove them. You have to put sudo in front of it. 
It also has suggested to us that we install some other packages. Um, these packages aren't always directly um, used with the package that the program that you're installing. In this case, Midnight Commander. Um, ARGJ is actually a program a type of uh, compression format. Um, DB View, I believe, is some kind of database view program. So there, <coughs> and Python libraries won't. Anyway, the point of this is is that you just apt get install and the name of the program. Of course, you have to know what the name of the program uh, is in order to install it. So one of the useful ways, and I'm doing Control Shift T to do a new terminal, and you can see here I can just I'm still downloading in that other one. I'm just switching between tabs here. There are are tabs here and so here I can use something called apt cache and notice I don't have to type super user do and I want to say search and for example midnight commander oop if I can type better here and you can see there's actually a few programs that fit into that midnight commander and you'll notice that uh, MC Midnight Commander is one of the programs in here. Some of these other programs relate to it. BSC is a, another similar program. GNOME Commander is a more graphical one. Uh, let's see if Midnight Commander is installed yet. Okay, It's taking its time. So <coughs> let it do that. That's about, uh, about it for this episode. I uh, hope you got some good information from it and please uh, tune into my channel Chaz Linux for more uh, more Ubuntu tips thanks for listening